Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest, Susie Sagoyan from Icelink hey. Boutique. If you guys don't know her, she's one of my really good friends and also the owner of Icelink uh, Jewelry. She's been doing this for a very long time. I'm very inspired by her personally, even though I'm in the beauty world and you're in the jewelry world because her social media is like inspo. You know, like when you find inspo pages for social media, like she's my inspo page. I learn a lot from her. Like why? She, you know, <laughs> I'm just like, what is this new background she has? And then she teaches you how to put the background in your social media. And we incorporate it into our LC brand. We incorporate it into my own Lily Cardania social media brand. So I find that... Um, if you are looking to grow your business on social media, if you're looking to find the right aesthetic, I think that Susie is the perfect person to chat with because she's so up to date and so good with all of this stuff. So Look I'm talking. excited. <laughs> I'm excited to have you. But, you know, I know that initially it wasn't, it was your dad's business, yes. right? Yes. And, and you were young and then I was. you grew I was up and kind of 16. took over. <laughs> yeah, I was 16 and... I was just looking into like colleges and universities and we actually both went to Woodbury so oh, yeah, that's right. yeah so that's right. uh, but we like never I, th I think never saw each other there I, yeah but I, I remember when I was were looking you a, were you a business yeah yeah and then I remember when my dad came up to me and he was like I have this idea he's been he had been doing jewelry for 20 years at that time it's now like almost 40 and he said that he's thinking of starting a watch line and this was the time where all those blingy you know jacob like all those watches with the athletes and the rappers it was that it was that time How and old were you at that time i was you... like i was graduating high school so i was all like right. almost 16 and um and I remember I got you know, I got into Pepperdine and I got into all these schools and then he literally came up to me. He was like, um, can you go somewhere close? Because I'm going to need you. Wow. And I said, okay. So I went to, got into Woodbury and then I took, like I would go to Woodbury I think three times and then just go to downtown. At that, at that time we were in this like crappy warehouse mm -hmm. where, you know, no one would know that now, you know, just right. doing wholesale shipments and everything. Um, and it's crazy because at that time we didn't have social media. So my dad literally had to go to like gift, uh, those gifting, gifting suites, suites, which are like yeah. so cheesy now <laughs> and do all of those like just weird events. And but basically it, but it, gifting suites are things like it'll be like celebrity events or award shows or whatever. And then yeah. celebrities will have their own rooms yeah. and then you'll just gift a bunch of stuff. Um, basically, whoever is in that room, but you just never really it was like, get much out of that. You would just get like a list of celebs. You didn't care if, if they were like in line with your brand. And now, with all that stuff is so important you're yeah. like do they match with our brand you know is it in line with my like brand message and that's kind of what we want to talk about today is um the you know how to create a brand story how to always like reinforce that with social media and because back then I mean it was so different it was yeah, almost before like social media before social was, media before e-commerce yeah. you know it was just like it was harder um, but now, not that it's easier, now it's harder to, because we're so saturated in yeah. all, all these worlds, yeah. it's harder to be ahead of the game all the time. But yeah, basically I kind of, it took me years to kind of get in the brand, I'm not going to get into like all the technical stuff, but, um, and at that time my dad was making like $40,000 watches, $50,000 watches, and it was doing well at the time until the, until the market crashed. And then I was like, wait, what do we do now? Yeah. And to be honest, that was like a year or two that I, we were seriously thinking about closing Iceland because it was mm -hmm. that bad. And then I was like, I have an idea why everyone loves the six time zone, but all of my friends, like they, they see my watch and they're like, I really want that. And mm -hmm. I almost, but I don't have $50,000. I, I, almost, I almost felt embarrassed wearing it like at school. Cause yeah. it was like a sample. And then they would be like, so how much do you have? I'm like, like the, the least one is like nine grand. And I'm like, <laughs> What are they, I feel weird saying it. Yeah. So I told my dad, I'm like, let's come out with like, I'm not saying like totally inexpensive, but something in that luxury range, with, which I feel like Gucci and all those people are coming out with like the 500 to fifteen hundred dollar range stuff and mm -hmm. it worked and then all this all these dainty lines came and out what now. was this this was 2015 i was i was pregnant with christian oh, and wow. with my son and i worked my entire pregnancy and we'll get to just, that in a second yeah <laughs> it was crazy i was literally doing the photo shoot while like i had my baby bump and oh everything so i think that whole like you know unattainable brand stuff where like the crazy expensive like niche stuff I, that, that's kind of going away it is. i think a lot of brands now are even like the gucci's the louis they're are trying to make like products that everyone can get and mm -hmm. they're kind of going away from that like snobby nose up high like only this kind of crowd can like wear our stuff mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so I think that's really important to like 
take into consideration and I think that's what I brought to the brand with like taking over absolutely yeah. and, you, and then you introduced the dainty jewelry yeah which I'm wearing I yes. wear every day I, I, you I got the uh the L it's it's Armenian initials yeah. I got the L and um the K but I always wear the K yeah because it's of course the cat. Yeah. so when I'm not with her and uh like today I'm not with her I'll just wear her necklace yeah. we're together I'll wear both of us. yeah <laughs> and I love it like I can see I, I see people wearing it and that like makes me it makes you so yeah. happy yeah. right yeah, um, totally that's how it is with Elsie when someone tells me it's like oh I have your foundation on I'm like oh like yeah they actually appreciate yeah. something you work so hard for so when you see it on yeah. like she loves it she's but for you it. it's harder you you built it from ground up I had like a like a really good foundation and I yeah. just had to I think like spruce it up and like keep it fresh and like bring social media to it but you mm -hmm. like you literally like started from the from ground zero yeah yeah um but I also did have a very good support system True. when I started it so it's That's like important. we both kind of had really a little bit of help totally. and then it was up to us to kind of yeah push 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 yeah. and try to grow as much as our own brands could possibly grow and totally. you never stop pushing really yeah um so we did want to talk a little bit about social media so although you do jewelry yes and watches and all these beautiful things yeah you're you know inspo fashion inspo social media and yeah. all these um type of things that you know young girls or I'm not that young, but I find you <laughs> inspirational, you know? You're always, like, even these, uh, the Instagram just uh, launched something where you can ask questions on Instagram and you can answer. I had no idea what to do. She's like, okay, well, you got to post this. And that. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, she's so quick and up to date with it. And that really is a very big part of it because you never stop learning and you have to research and you have to be always quick to be on top of it totally and because um, it's most the most exciting when it first launches like right. the, like the questions thing will die out in a few days so you want to get it like while people are like oh let me try this you know right right so um I, like look what happened to snapchat like i feel like no, you have to snapchat be anymore. it's i feel so disconnected with people I know, now i was I, know. I feel like that was like the best tool mm -hmm. and i actually feel like that Snapchat is a tool that kind of got me out there in like the like my age generation and like everyone who follows me now You were because, connecting with them yeah, a little it was bit like, more of a personal level, right? Yeah, and I think that's really important people like really want to connect to a to a live person because You know, there's the big brands and then there's kind of like the, the like the medium medium brands like us like mm -hmm. we're not Coca-Cola, right? Yeah, yeah. So like I feel like people Love that connection with that one person. They don't want to talk to Elsie. They want to be connected to Lilith right you know so yeah. I feel like with Snapchat like seeing my day-to-day -day life and like then seeing like all the work I put into Ice Link and then kind of seeing like my you know why I do the things I do and why I create the things I create like mm -hmm. there's only so much that your feed can tell people right you know so it's like I think people want to feel that connection and then it's like you have to build that trust with your followers if you're if you have a business you need to make social media a priority because mm -hmm. a lot of girls who ask me questions they're like Oh, like yeah, I'm starting this line, but I, oh, I like I hate the social media thing. I'm like yeah, you're like it's not gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> not in today's, today's world. Yeah, you either do it yourself or you hire someone to do it. And there's, I mean, if you just type in like social media marketing agencies, you can hire people and pay pe people to do this for you, or you could even hire interns. Honestly, because a lot of um, people want to get into that business mm -hmm. and they'll just love to put like a good business on their resume. So I, you have to make a pr it a priority. Like when I'm not posting, I'm telling my girls like, hey, take care of the Icelink official account. Right. Like we can't be MIA. You know, right. we have to be on it. So I guess one of the first and bigger questions which we got into earlier is, you know, how did how do you balance having a three year old? Is he three now? He's three. He's, He's three, three and, and three uh, an empire. Really? Well, because you manage so many people now. I do. I think. Having and you're a, constantly building team. like subcategories within your brand. I'm gonna ask you the same question <laughs> next. <laughs> so for me, I'm like, it's just this because, is what I'm used to. This is what I do. Because when I ask, when I see someone like you, I'm like, how do you do it? You no, know? because you're also like you have a social life. Like I feel like yeah. I am kind of lacking in that section. I feel like I put, which is not a good thing. I feel like I put so much of my energy into like the business, mm -hmm. and then obviously like Christian and my like immediate family, mm -hmm. and then social media. Because even though you're on your phone, you're still putting energy out there. You're giving information out. And then when I see like just like other friends or extended family, I'm like, I'm trained. Like this yeah. sucks, but that's yeah. not good. Like yeah. you have to learn how to balance it. And I think a lot of that comes from control. Like I want the control with with social. Yeah. With other things, I don't mind. I think it's important to have like a good team. That's like one of the biggest things is Absolutely. like hiring qualified people to like do the bigger so that you that you could trust. Yeah, it's not just like an assistant. That translates like your language. Yeah, someone who gets you and someone who knows the importance of things and is like almost as stressed as you are yeah, <laughs> and yeah. like is kind of like worried you know that it's always 
like right. my my main like girl Sylvia, she's like as like more worried than me. So I'm like, okay, when I'm not there, I'm mm -hmm. I'm good. Like I trust yeah, her, yeah. you know. So I think having a good team, and obviously like I'm just lucky. Like I have my mom, I have I have the support system, yeah. yeah, and I have my husband. So like it, all of that is important, and I'm lucky to have that. And then I'll, obviously I still have the flexibility to like go home early on days, but you know mm -hmm. you you pick and choose your your yeah, your battles, your battles <laughs> and like the days. But you know I feel like I'm kind of on your same page where like uh, my husband loves the social life, so I don't want it to see. And he works a lot too. Yeah. But he's very energetic, like, all the time. So mm -hmm. he's like, let's go out. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah. But then I'm like, all right, let's go out. Yeah. You know, let's go out. But when I go out, I'm like, I feel so good. Yeah. Because you need that exactly. balance. So I'm glad he pushes me and or pulls me totally. in that um, area. But I also feel like I'm either very, like, business, business, business. And then I'm like, wait, cat, like, yeah. wait, let's hang out. You know, yeah. let's go to the park. And, you know, I'm either this or this. this. But it's hard to it's be hard to balance it. both. And sometimes I'll notice that even when I'm hanging out with her, like, I'm taking her to the park, I'm, like, working on my phone, checking emails. I know. And then, like, when I look at her and I smile and I say something and I make her laugh, she loves it. She's yeah. I'm like, I should really yeah. put my phone away. So now I've learned to, yes. like, when I'm with her, I'm with her. I'm not paying attention to my phone. And sometimes yeah. people might be like, oh, but, you know, you know, like, you're, you're free. Like, what are you doing? You're free. I'm like, I'm not free. Yeah. This is my time for my baby. You exactly. know? So, there's that having yeah. to control yeah. your schedule in that sense. Yeah, and it's the same with Christian. Now that he's three, perfect, if he sees yeah. me, he'll be like, mommy's phone. And I'm like, uh, I, I put it away because he'll take it. And that's why yeah. I don't post him because if my phone is out, he wants my phone. And yeah, I'm just yeah. like, I'd rather just like spend time yeah, with you right now. Yeah, the same with the phone right now. Oh, yeah, exactly. Peppa cake. Peppa, yeah, Christian. Hot to cho, which I is Paw Patrol. Oh. So I'm just like, all right, put the phone away and I just yeah. hide the iPads in the in the house. Yeah, and actually just like actually together. have a good time, you know. Um, So tell me about like social media and um, how do you figure out your aesthetic? How do you figure out what works for you? Because it, you know, everything works different for someone else, you know. Yeah. And, and um, I, I see trends, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I don't know if that trend works for me because mine's like yeah. makeup and lifestyle and makeup, yeah. like it's so much. So like, how do you figure out like what works for you? I feel like with Icelink, it's actually harder than my personal for aesthetic because um, we have so many different products and so yeah. many different colors. Like, like we have all these strap colors, and I'm just like, do I really want to put like a red strap in the face? Yeah, oh like, my god, so, little things. <laughs> so picky with that stuff, but then it's like, honestly. At the end of the day, it comes back to brown story. It's like, mm -hmm. what am I, what feeling do I want? Like my, you know, what feeling do I want people to get when they're seeing my page? Like right now I have a lot of denim and gold because it's just summer and I feel like you can't be so strict with it. Right, you so you to took be... jewelry. Yeah. Same jewelry that you have all year round yeah. and you're incorporating seasons into that. Yeah, totally. So that's so smart. Yeah, you just have to kind of, I don't know, I just feel it. Like maybe I'll see something and then I'll get inspired by it. I don't know, it kind yeah. of just comes to me. Yeah. yeah, I love that. And you take all the photos? I take like most of the photos most of the and then photos. some of my photos I get like professionally taken mm -hmm. but it's weird like all the iPhone photos get more likes like, it's just yeah, so I, strange. I think, I think lately because at some point it was all about the professional perfect yeah, Photoshop no. photo on yeah. Instagram and now it's like the mirror selfie and it's now it's like the uh, you know iPhone selfie instead totally. of like I don't even use my camera anymore no, yeah. because it's just when it's like really perfect or we have a photo shoot it doesn't even get type of love that like a raw photo I would so I, I think again it goes back to being raw and real so how do you balance having a beautiful aesthetic mm -hmm. right with great quality yeah to having it still be raw and real um apps yeah. <laughs> and also like um and i'll tell you the apps but basically mm -hmm. like i think the most important thing is not sporadically doing social media i think that's a mistake that a lot of people make and i see that okay. like for example like i set one day and i take all the photos mm -hmm. i edit them i make sure that they fit into the aesthetic mm -hmm. i make sure that like i will sit with my girls and i'll be like this week we are conveying the message that it's summer and it's the it's the best the best time to buy straps for example because you can change it up mm -hmm. and then that whole week we are like non-stop conveying that message because mm -hmm. people can only listen so much so you need to remind them so right. it's like if one day you're talking about straps and then one day you're talking about like the necklace and then one day you're talking about like how the color blue is in like that is too much information for a customer right. I feel right. like you know so especially with our line because we just have so many products mm -hmm. so I feel like what I do is I set a day that day I have to feel creative I have to be like kind of left in alone. the zone yeah yeah and then I kind of set it out plan the feed I use plan planoli to plan the feed and that's amazing I love that app Planoli Planoli yeah I, have? I, yeah, have I love that I, I love that app 
um, it's really helpful into like. Oh, kind of I just have something called preview. Which oh, you okay. just kind of organize the yeah. photos. Yeah, and, and it okay. kind of just gives you like, you know, this thing. And then if you have some other pictures, you can leave that for later. And then sometimes I'll see like this amazing photo and it doesn't fall into the feed. But maybe it's like has touches of emerald in it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, in a week, I'm going to start like this emerald theme. And then like okay. I'll, I'll purposely like get emerald things and like right. start creating that then. You okay, know? so based off of that. How do you, you do reposts, right? You'll sometimes. repost and talk. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So what are you looking for when it's a repost? Is it like, oh, she has the green strap. I'm going to use this for yes. when I do the green aesthetic. Yeah, basically. Because I feel like that's what we do with LC, yeah. where it's like, right now we, you know, we're restocking the sponge. So mm -hmm. posting photos are and tagging us is just always great because we're always screenshotting totally. everything and when it fits into yes. our concept then we'll plug it in but yeah. right now I'm not reposting like the foundation right no, now yeah. I'm not reposting yeah. well maybe the foundation because it goes in line with the sponge but totally. maybe not the sponge and um our eyeshadow or something yeah. like that yeah so I think we do take screenshots but what we look for is just quality it's photos. hard it's, it's really hard, hard yeah you know? I mean with your business it's a little bit easier because mm -hmm. you're the, the influencers that rock your stuff, they, they're good at creating content. Right. With mine, it's just clients. Yeah, yeah. So it's, like, rare that I can get, like, a really, 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 really good photo. Mm -hmm. Or, like, I'll repost, like, celebrity pictures. Like, they'll be wearing it, and I'll be like, hey, like, I, I obviously I want to tell people that, you know, like, Mercedes Lewis just got in, like, the Fashionable 50 for Sports Illustrated. I, I don't bother them. I just I just screenshot, screenshot it and it. repost. Yeah. 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 Just because I want to tell people that he's wearing it, you know? Right. So, so how does it work as far as, like, PR goes? Because a lot of celebrities wear your jewelry yeah. your watches and everything so uh and we have a pr company that you know this is why i go to new york i've vlogged it before yeah. i go to new york about three four times a year and i present my new product i'll have you guys know no editor is going to going to guarantee you a a, a write-up you know yep. you you show i show them the sponge and yep. i say look this is what i'm launching mm -hmm. this is why it's the best let me use it on you you basically have to sell it to them the way and nobody can do that but you, right? Because no. sometimes I'm like, Davo's like, you know, well, maybe you could send someone who... who I'm yeah, like, no, no, no. No, really. no one can yeah. do it. I do because I create everything from scratch. My concept, my creation, the story That's and right. everything. So someone may at some point, but right now yeah. I'm like, I know what I need to do. No, even PRs, they want you there because... Yeah, they, they, they to, connect with you yeah. a little bit more. And it's just like, they're like, oh, wow, that's cool. But maybe they're not writing a story on sponges right now. Maybe they're looking for, I don't know, like hair products right now. Or, right. you know, maybe they just don't love it. They're like, oh, it's just another sponge you talk about. So all you really do is meet with a million editors. And like, like I said, you're not guaranteed anything. It's just you hope that they love it the yeah. way you love it yeah. so that they can write about it. So exactly. that's how like our PR company works. So yeah. how does your PR company, is it like the same concept? I don't have a PR company right oh, now. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I do everything on my own. Hey girl, yeah. girl, see um, why she's here? <laughs> Tell me what's up. <laughs> you know why? Because I've worked with a lot of PRs. I've learned a lot, a lot. Right. So I think it's really good to have a PR company, mm -hmm. honestly. I think PR companies have changed right now, so you have to be really careful. I think they... Oh, I had to change quite a few. I have to be honest. I, I feel was... like they cheat out a lot of the new, oh new God, clients because yeah. they just like promise you all these things in the packet. So if you ever get like a like a proposal from a PR company, like I don't know, maybe DM it to me yeah. <laughs> and I'll look over it. But um, I learned a lot. I lost a lot of money from it. My dad lost a lot of money from it, and we were like, I'm we thought we're getting this, but there's all these additional charges. Yeah. But um, I had to learn. I had to learn everything from scratch. I feel like. I had to learn, like, what the difference between marketing and PR, and then, like, okay, PR is going to get me my editorial. I sometimes PR. people confuse the two. Yeah. So, can you, like, in yeah. short, tell us what marketing is and what PR is? Yeah. PR, I mean, uh, marketing is basically um, someone who's going to help you, which is probably the most important thing you need to do for your business. Uh, mm -hmm. Marketing would be so, you know, a marketer would basically come in and tell you who your target market is, what your brand story is. They would probably create a brand story for you, which is, like, I, in my opinion, the most important part of brand building is knowing what your brand story is and then reinforcing that with every single packaging, product, social media post. It all has to be in Reinf line and a story together. Yeah, it ha like what is your, you know, what is your story? And you need mm -hmm. to know that and, what you know, write it down. But back in the, like there was a lot of marketing companies back in the days. Yeah. They're all dying out. Yeah. So now they're turning into social media marketing agencies mm -hmm. um, because that's what they would do. They would create your brand story and they would do your target market, your demographics, and basically, you know, kind of tell you how you can reach that. A public relations company is some more like um, they'll hook you up with celebs. They'll, hook, you know, do editorials for you. They'll, you know, they'll reach out to... Um, 
the magazines and get you like the coverage that you need for your product. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. I, at least for my company, that's what I use both for. Right. You know, it's to the point where I can do it myself really. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll partner up if I need like a really good like push in like a six month campaign or something like that. But right. for the most part, I think I like have it down. Yeah, yeah. I've do. just I've just learned totally it, learned, <laughs> learned a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then the good and then the thing with IceLink is that we have um, distributions in different countries, and they have to do their own because every country operates differently. There's a lot of cultural things. So even though I they know our brand story, but like they have their own kind of like marketers and PR companies that do their own things right, because. Okay. I don't know what your, you know, your cultural rules are. Maybe mine crosses yours, even mm -hmm. though I kind of like, you know, keep in touch with them on all that stuff. Because I don't want right. to do something here that's going to hurt the brand right. in like Japan or something like that. So. so is your dad still very involved or have you taken over like 90%? I've taken over a good portion of it. My dad is still involved with production mm -hmm. and he has kind of, had, he's at the factory with my brother doing like the wholesale jewelry because mm -hmm. he just does not want to let go of that stuff. <laughs> he loves it. Um, but yeah, with production, I'm still, I'm still like, dad, I need you. Like, he's just too good at like, like with, with watches and jewelry, you need to know all that technical the stuff and like the, he's just too good at production. I'm just right. like, please do it. Like, it's yeah. not like, I, I want to make things and design things, but I don't want to deal with the technical that part stuff. Of it. Yeah. yeah. Is there any part of your business that you don't like dealing with? Um, it's hard to say. Cause I feel like I'm very involved with yeah. the entire process, you yeah. know? Uh, I have people that I work with that I trust completely. I trust their tastes and their opinions mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But we're all very hands-on. And um, I'm really involved from, like, the scratch from product development to oh, packaging yeah. to uh, the marketing story of what concept and why. Like, you know, at some I do trust it. Yeah. But I do trust the business. But at the same time, I, I'm kind of like you where I want control i oh, want yeah. control and that's the one part like yeah. i could let it go but i want it you yeah. know right yeah. now i want it until like, yeah, it gets to be... a point where yeah you know our SKUs are growing now where i have a lot more products so it is becoming a little bit more difficult and we're yeah. moving a lot faster so mm -hmm. um yeah it's tricky yeah all right we're gonna answer a few of these questions some of these questions we've incorporated all into what we just chatted about yeah. um i really like this question though because i feel like this is a question i get a lot and uh, also, I feel as though a lot of people think that just because I tag the business on Instagram that they're going to get millions of followers and that it's going to be relatable. And a lot of times, like, people are just into makeup and beauty and fashion mm -hmm. and not, not really interested in, uh, I don't know, uh, where I got my car from or something like That's that. True. You know, some maybe. That's a good but, point. you know, I think that a lot of people are connecting with the wrong people. So if you're looking like for point. someone to promote your car business, I don't know if a makeup artist is the right choice. You right. might get some people who are interested, but I think someone who's really into cars, Yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. doing something with them. And, you know, there's, there's big accounts in every different field. Right. And it's just being able to connect with the right people. So the question is, do you think IG is prof is beneficial for professional industries like lawyers, accountants, and et cetera? Yeah, I think um, I think it's obviously going to be a little trickier mm -hmm. for lawyers and, you know, things, uh, I mean, like, feel... You things know, that are aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I, um, I, I think obviously it's going to be a lot trickier, but I still think that you still, you need to have the presence on social media and you kind of need to find some way to keep followers and treats. So, for example... Um, obviously like, you know, with like plastic surgeons and stuff, like it's, you know, they, they post like price details, fat, you know, frequently asked questions and then people start following just cause they might be one day interested in procedures with lawyers. I feel like maybe, you know, post like frequently asked questions and like little quotes that might help someone, you know, what do you do if this happens or what do you, what can I do if this happens? And then people mm -hmm. start following you just simply based on education. And then, you know, when it comes down to the time where they need like a lawyer, they'll, they'll think of you because they already follow you because you're giving them free information. So right. they're like, Oh yeah, like this guy or this girl is cool. So like, let me, let me just hire them then. You know, right. so I feel like you have to find a way. And I always say this every time you're posting something, like, I even have to remind myself when I'm doing a story or anything. Anytime you're posting something, I always ask myself, why do they care? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it for them? And, like, is it solving a problem? Yeah. Because other than that, why, why are people interested? do they care? Yeah. Okay. Next question. Do yeah. you want to ask? Yeah, I got a good one. What is the biggest challenge you have faced being a woman in the business industry? I feel like for you, you're in, in like, yeah. yeah, it's all women. So I, think, I think it's my world. It I, is. Being a woman in the industry, I think the only tricky part is 
be de- to be dealing with different companies and men in different companies. Yes, the um, vendors. CEOs in different companies who may have a little uh, males more in control of the business and stuff like that. But I think that because of the world I'm in, the beauty world, it's yeah. all female. Yeah. It's mainly female empowered. Um, yeah. So I feel like I get a lot of support with that. But I think it would be trickier with you yeah. because jewelry. Yes. I mean, not dainty jewelry is more of like the it, female world. But no, I feel like it, the watches and all of that. The wa- the watch world is like like really men. men. And then especially internationally, like I've had situations where we would go to shows like the Basel World Show, which is like the largest watch show in the industry. Mm-hmm. And um, not everyone because I would, I would get interviewed. But like... Mm-hmm. Um, for the sales meetings, I would have, you know, I don't want to say, like, the, the country or yeah, the yeah, nationality, but I would literally have, like, I would ask a question, and they would turn to my dad and be like, yeah, so this is the answer, and, like, completely ignore me, <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. like, okay then, but... Especially I, because there's a man standing next to you, yeah. it just, <laughs> yeah, it's so easier It was a lot of too. adjustment, but, like, I mean, that is, is actually okay, because, uh, you know, I'm just like, whatever, it is what it is, mm-hmm. but it was, it's more even here now, because the, um, all of the Made in USA items are made in our factory, which is, like, are me and men in yeah. the jewelry business. And they're, they're a little bit more like... I uh, feel like when I walk in there, they're just like... A little, who's this, who's a little this, bit more macho, you who's know? Who's this so, girl coming here telling us to like... Yeah. Like, yeah. put, uh, you know, quality's not that good. It's, and like telling it's, us... It's like, changing okay. because the younger yeah. generation yeah. understands that. But yeah. I like the older generation, it's hard for like a yeah. young girl in their culture to tell yeah. them what to do yeah but I feel like know? it's 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 fine because my dad like a, like he's not like that he's just he doesn't care he like knows the value of like everything that I know he comes to me for advice yeah. so they see that and they're like okay she probably knows what she's doing and yeah, I'm just yeah. like yeah I guess it's a learning and yeah. adapting process yeah I think that they're just not used to being uh, and it's not like I'm bossy or anything but sometimes I'll say like I need this this way and like it wasn't done that way and they're just like uh, uh they have a hard time tricky. with that it's yeah they're like why is she telling me that though <laughs> like, but, you, you but you do well with it yeah. Someone asked, how do you balance a personal life while maintaining a successful business? I actually um, want, to know that, want to know that too. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, f- I feel like I've talked about this before on my YouTube page, but to balance a successful business and have a family is very hard. Very hard. Um, because to have a family, it's already there. It's yeah. just about you nurturing it. Your business, you got to work. to yeah. You got to, like, work to nurture it, right? And if I'm not working, like I mentioned earlier, like, I really lacked um, when my baby was born, but I wasn't even jumping onto new products and new opportunities. We were just kind of, like, pushing what we had and working yeah. on one or two products at a time because I didn't have time. Yeah. So it was very hard. And, and I believe sometimes it's okay to take a little bit of a break because right. family, for me, is, if not... Just as important, more important. So I allowed myself and I was like, okay, but I knew that I needed to get back into it and I needed to get back into it full force. So I did give in and hire a babysitter. Yeah. And now she's in school, you know, three times a week. So now I feel like, oh my God, I have all this time now. Let's go. So when I come in here, I do not waste a minute. I come in here. I work my butt off for yes. the hours that I have and then go pick her up from school and take yeah. her home and be with her. So um, I think to manage a successful business, you really just kind of have to work overtime yeah. in a sense where like when when I put her to sleep, like I said, that's when that's when my emails come in. That's yeah. when, you know, especially working with international companies, yeah. it's like they wake up when I'm going to sleep. So sometimes I have to stay late. Otherwise, your question is not answered until the following 24 hours. Yeah, you lose a day. You lose a day and it's just everything is so pressing and important. So, totally. you know, I learned to just, you know, I don't really watch TV. I don't, I don't waste my time on things that yeah. are not educational for me. Yeah. If I do anything, yeah. it's reading a book to have time for myself. True. and something that's going to help me become better. better and it really makes you become a better yeah business person as well because when you're positive you know we're both on the same wavelength with that reading yes. the same types of books when you're positive and you have a positive outlook on life you have a positive outlook on your business yeah. you have a more like um uh what's the word i'm looking for uh it's kind of like you you, you manif- manifest, you, manifest yes. you know what that. it is that you put out there and so yeah you really you're gonna have a successful business if you just have a positive mindset and yeah. just don't give up on the little bumps I along agree. the road. There's just it's a very full full question. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot of it yeah. has to do with just working overtime and just yeah. knowing it's gonna be the best. You totally. know. Totally, I agree with you. Are you uh, 
uh, was active on all social media channels I, that exist. I am more, I, everyone keeps chewing my ear off, like people in the industry and like that. Yeah. I need to be more active on Facebook. I know, because, we try, we try as yeah, well. Yeah, because actually Facebook is kind of like a hybrid tool for all the social media outlets. Mm -hmm. And also it's like the best, probably one of the best Sharing advertising tool. tools, advertising tools, because mm -hmm. it's so targeted. And, but like, obviously I don't utilize it, but I'm working on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and every time I tell, yeah. I'll tell the girls, girls, we need to be more active on Facebook. Let's go and answer I just repost. I think we'll just forget about it because we're so involved on Instagram but really yeah. I think every platform has a different market guys so although you may have Facebook although you, I have Facebook yeah. and I have Instagram but I'm hardly ever on Facebook I'm always on Instagram but I think the older my mom, and spenders my mom on is yeah. always on Facebook you know I mean she's a little bit of both now yeah. but um people who are just um wanting to share stories wanting to watch videos and just like there's actual YouTube yeah. links into that and yeah, it's more yeah. of like a sharing platform that's what I'm saying yeah it's like a hybrid of everything yeah, yeah. so, so so you kind of have to be everywhere, yeah. but you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to be everywhere. Like you said, it's industry based. Like even yeah. for, I just thought about that question about like professional industries, like lawyer, like that would be great for Facebook mm -hmm. and like Yelp, obviously. Right. Yeah. And I think there's LinkedIn and yeah. all these other apps that like LinkedIn are for I, I forgot about. <laughs> I, yeah, forgot, I, I forgot about LinkedIn. I'm over I that. forgot about LinkedIn and every now and then I log in and I'm like, oh my God, that's the PR girl that I've been yeah. working for a year. So I connected yeah, yeah. with her oh, and that's, that's awesome. how I got with my PR. So yeah, yeah I feel like uh, we, we try to be everywhere. Yeah, forward. exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna do one more question. I'm gonna ask the question because I feel like this is really important. Yeah. Um. So going back to building an aesthetic, it's not about social media. It's building aesthetic with your brand. So mm -hmm. for me, the face was really important. So I did the foundation, and yes. then I did the glow enhancer and a primer to finish off the face, and then I did your minimalist eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Added the pops of shimmer on the eyes. Added the mascara. Added the bronzer. Yeah. Added the highlight. So. I create products based on what I think yeah. is important in creating a flawless face. Yeah. So with jewelry, mm -hmm. how do you figure out what are you going to do next? And yeah. how are you going to stay different? And actually, I have to applaud you on that because I feel like you're like one of the most consistent brands I've ever seen. Oh, thank I'm serious. you. Like, just like the way that you do things, it's not, I feel like I see a lot of brand, like uh, beauty brands that are so random. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't get like, yeah. you know, I feel like you're, it's very like, you know, you've been behind that minimalist thing and I, yeah. you've been on, like, that's your brand Thank story. You. I, yeah. I see that. Yeah. Like, it's, it's about like the, the, the fresh face and mm -hmm. like the minimalist and you reinforce that with everything that you put right. out. So I think that that is like Thank the perfect you. example of like what I was so, talking about. Yeah. Um, with me, I think your customers are your best like your customers, your followers are your best, um, teachers, like teachers, focus groups, whatever. Right. So I, I get a lot of DMs on like what people want oh, or when, okay. when customers come to the store, they always kind of like hint at like, Oh, do you have this? Do you have that? I'm always listening. And I think yeah. that that's something You're writing that it down in your mind. Yeah. That's yeah. something that I've learned from my dad. My dad, when he came out with the um, six time zone, he came out with it, he wore it and he wore it around airports. Oh wow. When he first came out with it, he's like, this is going to be like an airport watch. Like You're that was right. the only thing that he was thinking. Travelers. He wasn't thinking about all the other things that I would think as like a more of a branding person. Like mm -hmm. I think of it as like when Lisa Vanderpump wears our watch, you don't even have to say it's ice link. If you see the grid, it's so different than any other watch. That, you know like, what it is. It does, it does the marketing for you. Mm -hmm. Like when people see it on the screen, they're like, oh, it's ice link. So mm -hmm. I think of it more like that. He was thinking more functional because that's just who he is. Yeah. Like I'm, I travel. I don't want to change the time zones on my watch. Right. But then one thing he told me is when people stop me I ask them would you wear it how much would you pay for it yeah. would you this would you that and I'm like really like so he's you... doing his own little market research yeah, yeah. so I kind of that kind of stuck with me and I was like seriously when you think about it if these people have come into your store once they're gonna come again right. so why not use that to your advantage so I feel like <clears throat> a lot of people who would buy our watch they would be like I would really love like a round watch I'm like I promise we're coming out with a round mm. watch so I'm actually coming out with six new watch lines. oh wow yeah that's Exciting. So just from listening I to what, this. yeah, so just from listening to what people have been saying, <clears throat> three for men, three for women, mm -hmm. and just more like, I know people love our watch, but it is some sometimes like, like just a really different. So mm -hmm. it's still going to be unique. It's still going to be bold and like statement making, but um, just some different things. Yeah. So I think that's really what prompts me to, I'm like, I feel like we don't have this, you know, like. Like, tw 20 people emailed us asking if we have study earrings and we don't have it. Like, let's make study earrings. Like, it's as simple right, as that for right, me, right. honestly. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's good. That's the best way because then, you're listening to your yeah. direct market. Totally. And Not the I, market you're trying to bring in, but the direct market. Yeah, because, then, I don't know if you guys know, a big part of your customers are your repeat customers. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's your best client. Yeah. You just want to know. And you're, you have to be honest with them. You have to be like, hey, like, what's missing? 
Like, wh mm. what else would you need, you know? Right. But then, obviously, like, you don't want to make something just to make it and, like, not put your twist on it. Like, mm -hmm. it has to be, still speak to your brand. Right. Like, I knew girls wanted dainty rings, but I was like, I don't want to just make, like, a band and, like, call it a day. So when I came out with the ILU, the mm -hmm. ILU rings. I love that ring. I was like, it has to be, like, yeah. I don't know, it just has to be different. And then it and just, do you design them? I design I design the ILU rings, the bullet necklaces, the all the Armenian collections, mm -hmm. anything kind of like new. Mm -hmm. But the six times zone my dad came out yeah. with, and the bicycle bracelet my dad came out yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. And I have to applaud to you because you are young and you've accomplished so much in such a short amount of time, you. and you know that you constantly have to be up to date with yes. society's, you know, fashion standards or whatever it is because there's a lot of businesses that unfortunately die out because they're just like, ours is the best and they're not learning to create more and to move forward. They're just kind of sticking in their ways. Like if you yeah. just stuck in your own, you know, just yeah. the time zone uh, <clears throat> watches, yeah. It's hard. It's yeah. hard because, again, yeah. like you said, not everybody can afford that. Sometimes now that the yeah. iPhones are out, I'm just like, I have every freaking state on my phone exactly. when I'm traveling. Yeah. You know, and it, it, with technology changing, with fashion changing, you know, you need someone that's always ahead of the game in totally. that sense, you know, so. And never get comfortable. Yeah, because never get comfortable. I always, I always like have those nervous days where I'm like, like, are, are people getting over it? Like, are they, like, yeah. falling out of it? Like, yeah. are they... And it's hard to keep up, like, oh, our foundation so... was our first thing yeah. we launched, and I'm like, guys, our foundation is yeah. still, in my opinion, one of the best. I oh, know yeah. we have highlighters, and, and these are oh, yeah. amazing, but listen, you still need this foundation, yes. you know? So yes. it's, it's yes. important to incorporate the old, incorporate the new, and then just uh grow your business in, in yeah. that sense no it yeah. comes back to branding so yeah yeah so i really wanted to bring in someone to do this chit chat with the last time i did this was with tenny probably like two years ago i remember that maybe three years ago i don't know such a long I time remember that, yeah. and uh every now and then i'm like i need to do this chit chat i need to do this chit chat and um so i'm i picked it back up i'm re-inspired to do these chit chats and you crossed my mind because like i said Thanks. your page and your business at um your business ethics and all that really inspires me, even though we're from two different yeah. worlds. And I think that regardless of the world you're in, the information that you can provide to my viewers is going to be beneficial thank you. if it's someone who's trying to build their own brand. So I thought you'd be the perfect person for this. So thank you for coming in. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let her know how she did. She was kind of nervous when she came, but I'm just like, you just like breeze through it like really a pro. About my angles. <laughs> <laughs> she did amazing. So I'm very happy you did this and I'm sure my viewers are too. Thank you. Hopefully yes. if you guys love her and you want more of this. How uh, about you let her know in the comments <laughs> and tell her to come back. And convince me to get you too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Oh Have you thought about that? I, I tried. And she, she did a video of me and I was like, delete it. Never again. So I'm like so nervous. For She's this one again. of those people that always do great. And then just the most I'm really hard on myself. myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. we'll work on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on, on that. that. Yeah, right. I need to work on that. <laughs> Someone teach me how to do that. <laughs> and if you guys want to find her, if you don't already know her or follow her, she's Susie Sagoyan. We'll link um, her tags in the video. And um, she's Icelink Boutique on Instagram. So Icelink Official. Go Icelink Official. Yeah, you have two pages. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that we use to post our customers. Okay, so that's Icelink fun. Official is the one. Um, go check it out. Follow her, and Thanks. yeah, Thanks. she's very active with her commenters and followers as that's well. True. So. Because sure. I don't have a million. So <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to I'm pour it on to you. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for thank watching. You. We'll see you next time. See you.